Hi, it's Bill again. I want to talk about Mutton's Simulated Divided Light and True Divided Light and all the uh, controversy swirling around it. Let's start with the mutton itself. I think that's a pretty good place to start. This is your typical mutton. This is probably what you have in your house. This is the divider, the lot, the, and these are the shoulders on which the glass rests. On yours, this may be three eighths, like this one is, or it may be a quarter of an inch. Uh, this is about seven eighths of an inch, and that represents the OG profile that you have that makes uh, your windows look so nice. <coughs> this could be made out of any material, but typically this is one and three eighths thick, just like your sash. Now, I have to say that. There's probably not too many people in this country that have spent as much time thinking about muttons as I have <laughs> over the last 20 years because it's so important to my clients. We want to get it right. We want to solve the problems and uh, not create any. So let me show you how this goes together in your window. Let's say we're on the outside of the house. We're going to take your two pieces of glass that go into the mutton and put it in like that. And then we'll take some glazing points and stick in here to keep that from falling out. And then they'll cream some putty in here, and it'll be a nice little 45 degree angle bevel down to the glass. Or so, it might be 30 degrees. And they'll try to get it so that it's nice and even with the edge of the mutton itself so that it doesn't protrude into the sight line or daylight. That's what we call this area here that you, is actually clear and you can see. This is what we call the daylight. So that's how it works on the typical window that was built 100 years ago, and that's probably what you have if you still have your old windows and you have muttons, okay? Now, I have a lot of people that say to me, I want insulated glass and I want muttons. I want true divided lights. And I'm here to tell you that that makes it very, very difficult, almost impossible. Uh, these are just some old scrap pieces of glass we had kind of used as samples, but it's indicative of what we actually have to deal with because... This spacer here, there's a spacer in there that keeps the glass apart, <coughs> and by the time everything's said and done, the minimum distance from the edge of the glass to the spacer is 7 sixteenths. They could get it down to 3 eighths, um, but typically it's around a half an inch. Plus, at the factory, they don't always get those perfect, so there's some variations there that you got to account for. And so when you put these two together like so, what we have here, between here and here for the spacer, is at least an inch, plus three-eighths in this case. So there's one and three-eighths. Sometimes it's a quarter, but that's, that's one and a quarter inches. Let's look at, at it from the other side, and this is where the problem really lies, is that when you're looking at it from the inside, or after you get it glazed, you've got a quarter inch or three-eighths of spacer sticking out here into your sight line. You don't want to see that. You've got to bury it if it's going to be right. So that's the problem. And the only solution is to use a wider mutton. Um, some of the competitors use an inch and an eighth mutton, inch and a quarter mutton, and it just is not authentic. You know, people want um, true divided light because they want authenticity. But the problem is that they give up the real authenticity that you can see from your street, which is nice three quarter inch muttons for one and eighth inch mutton just to say that they have true divided light. I don't know if that's a good solution or not. So that's, that's the problem. That's why you cannot have a three quarter inch mutton and insulated glass period. It just is mutually exclusive. Now, a solution, our solution, let's start here. Let's go back to insulated glass. This is a piece of our spatial glass. This is only a quarter inch thick. It's two pieces of glass. Actually, it's a quarter plus dot two millimeters because there's two millimeters, 0.2 millimeters, separating these two pieces of glass. They put them together, then they suck the air out of it, and this quarter inch piece of insulated glass has the same thermal efficiency as a one inch piece of insulated glass. Now, what we do, though, is rather than trying to fight with the all the spacing problems, with insulated glass and true divided light. We just apply the muttons on both sides like this. And if you look, you can hardly see any space in between them. 
So we actually use simulated divided light, which is an anathema. A lot of people, you know, they just say, I don't want true divided light. But the fact is that you have to have true divided light. The only way you can have insulated glass and muttons, three quarter inch muttons, is with simulated divided light. And I agree that, yeah, it's not a great thing under most circumstances because most people don't do it right. But I believe we do. And that makes it worthwhile. Now, we can do the same thing with standard glass. It doesn't have to be insulated glass, but this is the way we do our simulated divided light. And the fact is that when that's put together, you cannot tell that it is not true divided light. So why spend the money for true divided light and fight? Now, I just threw that one together, but here's an actual window with... Simulated divided lights and spatia. Look at those edges. I've had a contractor tell me, I thought you were giving a simulated divided light. <laughs> and they were. But he thought they were true divided light, like anybody else would who sees this. This is the exterior. And over here is the interior. And I defy anyone to be able to tell the difference. As a matter of fact, this video is going to be on the website. It's probably going to be surrounded by other pictures, and we have some pictures there of side-by-side -side true divided light windows with our simulated divided divide light windows, and I challenge people to tell me which one is which. I think it's impossible. So, there you have it.